So yesterday, Elon Musk made Grok open source. So Grok is the LLM, the large language model, basically a tool such as ChatGPT, but it is based on tweets and Twitter information and probably learned from all kinds of other kind of data as well. And now he made it publicly available and you can download it and you can try to run it on your hardware. But unfortunately, a normal PC will not be good enough for that. So what do you need for it? Well, first of all, you can just go ahead and go to the GitHub page here. And the instructions are very simple. It's a 314 billion parameters large language model. So quite powerful, a lot of data in it. And you can download it using this magnet link. You can also go over to Hugging Face and get Grok from there. However, it is big. It is very big. So you will need to download a lot of data. It's over 300 gigabytes of data. So that's fine, right? I have an SSD of two gigabytes. Many people do. It's not a problem at all. But then you need 300 gigabytes of VRAM. So virtual RAM and 300 gigabytes of virtual RAM. Basically your graphics card usually like a normal one has four, maybe six or eight gigabytes. So how could you get as many like 300 plus? Well, the thing is you just need eight of those. So here, <laughs> there's the NVIDIA Ampere Tesla A40, which is, well, it requires 300 watts and it has 48 gigabytes of RAM. So graphics RAM, which you can use as VRAM and you just need eight of those. Obviously, you also need a motherboard to run it and a PSU, so a power supply unit, which gives you all of this power. We're talking about 2400 just for the Ampere graphics cards plus motherboard cooling and so forth. So probably around like 3000 watts that you should aim for in terms of your PSU. Now you can obviously rent a very powerful hardware in the cloud for an hour or whatever time you need it. And you can install it there and then run it on that device, but that will not be cheap either. Obviously it's not going to cost you 40,000 ish dollars in order to <laughs> prepare the hardware or build the hardware. But that is why it is so expensive to run all of these LLMs and also why you see Nvidia stock going crazy because they need to build these and they are building them. And I'll just imagine how many of those are required by a company like X or by a company like OpenAI. So yeah, basically super crazy stuff. However, it is really cool that it is open source. So that means that we can look into it and try to understand it if we want to, but as non developers, that will be quite hard. So what alternatives do we have in order to run a local large language model on our normal hardware, not having to purchase hardware that costs 40 K plus there is this website called GPT for all IO, which is a free to use locally running privacy aware chatbot, no GPU or internet required, which basically runs on your RAM. So you don't need a GPU, which usually the RAM in a GPU is more expensive than the, the normal RAM in your PC. And you can check out this website. It's really powerful here. The thing is we have GPT for all works on, you can see here models, different models, Mistral 7B, for example, only 3.83 gigabytes of size, and it runs on an eight gigabyte RAM machine. Usually most computers nowadays have 16 or even more. So this one will run for you quite well already. Obviously it depends on what exactly you want to achieve. So if you want to have a more powerful one, you can scroll down. You see here, there is even a super small one, very mini. So this one's just 40 megabytes and runs on one gigabyte of RAM. Obviously it's not going to be your GPT-4 that you know from OpenAI, but there are versions which are quite powerful. So extremely good model, very good overall model. So you can see there are different types of models that you can use in order to achieve whatever you want to achieve while running it on your own hardware, not having to have a connection to the internet, not having to trust OpenAI that they don't learn from your data. So in this one, you can put all of your personal data, whatever you want, and it will run. So this makes me very optimistic about the future where we are going to have these running locally on our phone. So I can't wait for the first mobile phone provider 
to actually put in a proper large language model that is locally running onto devices. Because you can see, they don't require loads of space and the RAM devices that are premium, they come with 16 gigs of RAM nowadays. So even these very powerful models will be able or capable to run on your smartphones. And they're getting better, smaller and more efficient over time as well, with less and less parameters required in order to get very, very good results out there. Okay, so unfortunately we're not there yet. So maybe at one point we will be. But still, thank you very much for watching this video. If you want me to create a video on GPT for all and showing you how to set it up and testing it on my hardware, I'm happy to do that. But I need your likes, comments and subs in order to do that. So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.